Good Sunday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee on a beautiful Sunday. Things very quiet in the Mid-South, not seeing much of any problems out there for right now, and doubtful we're going to be seeing too much of anything to worry about into the course of the near future. We'll talk more about what the extended forecast looks like coming up here in just a little bit. We'll also take a look and see what the possibilities of severe weather are heading toward the end of April and into May. Unfortunately, could be some more thunderstorms coming our way as the Music Fest approaches and also the possibility of maybe some more nicer weather as we go towards Cinco de Mayo heading toward next weekend. So stick around for more information on that coming up here in just a little while. Again, fairly quiet for right now. If you got any weather reports from out around the area, drop your location and your weather reports into the comments section. Would love to see more about what's going on where you're located. If you've never been here before to watch our video weather blog, this is Weather Overtime. It's our way of being able to kind of spread the weather out a little bit and explain more about what's going on in and around the area. Uh, this is, again, our online version. On air, we get about two to three minutes to tell you about the weather. Here, we kind of extend it a little bit farther so we can explain things. Got questions about the forecast? Drop them into the comments section. We'll answer what we can about them. We cover the area of North Mississippi, West Tennessee, and Eastern Arkansas in and around the counties surrounding Memphis, Tennessee, in Shelby County in Southwest Tennessee. So give you an idea for that. If you can't stick around for the whole forecast, blue bar at the bottom of your screen, 7 to 10 Day forecast here and all of that available here at WREG.com slash weather. So find out some more on that. And if you've got any weather pictures, definitely want to send those along to us and we'll feature them on our netcast as well. And we'll have more de details about that. More on my page at facebook.com slash austinonic WREG. Later on into the rest of the afternoon, these northeasterly winds are going to be doing a very good job of dropping the temperatures by about a category or so into the Mid-South. Now, normally at this time of the year, we should be in the lower to mid-70s, more or less. And then today, but thanks to those northeasterly winds, we're going to be about in the mid to upper 60s at best. There could be a few lower 70s out there around Oxford, Batesville, Clarksdale in that area. Helena, West Helena, you might see some lower 70s out there, but mostly it's going to be the rule for the mid to upper 60s today. And very dry, maybe a few clouds, but we've got some very dry air in place from in and around portions of Canada dropping down this direction. So that's going to keep the temperatures down. Numbers over the next several days on your seven-day forecast heading back upwards Again, we'll talk more about that coming up in a little bit. Scott Jarvis, Banner, Mississippi, 52 degrees and sunny. Thank you very much uh, for that weather report, and good morning to everybody else checking in from around the rest of the Mid-South. Take a look at some of the webcams around the area from Memphis International Airport. We have no delays to report at this time, according to the Federal Aviation Administration. Delays of 15 minutes or less, so everything moving along with sunny skies and dry conditions there. Likewise, no delays being reported at major or connecting airports across the continental United States. Into and around the rest of the Mid-South, around Clarksdale, Mississippi, Heidelberg Elementary, blue skies, lots of green trees out there, and looking very nice on a Sunday morning, very quiet as opposed to what you usually see at this time in the morning when school's in session. From the Grove in Oxford, available at livecams.olemiss.edu. Nice view of some sunlight making its way through the trees and the occasional jogger or stroller out for this morning. View from Germantown, looking back toward the towers of Poplar and Mendenhall, Poplar Pike and Germantown Road, and the water towers north of Germantown High School. Again, very quiet, also decently dry, 53% humidity, back in the lower to mid-50s for temperatures. This is going to be the type of dry air we're going to be wishing for as we head toward July and August. Very comfortable out there, just a bit on the cool side. Traffic at I-55 and Goodman Road in South Haven on our Baptist DeSoto camera moving along, looking back toward Horn Lake off in the distance, and again, a beautiful blue sky out there. Confirmed by Storm Tracker 3S radar, little of anything showing up at this point in time, so not seeing a lot of any problems out there where it comes to rainfall yet later on this week. Again, could be seeing some problems out there. More on that in just a little while. And again, looking at pretty dry conditions. Forget the umbrella. Jacket would not be a bad idea for today out there. And our next storm system is still about a continent away. It's not even showing up at this point in time. Well back over to our west at this point, out into the Pacific Ocean and heading our way. But it's going to be about midweek before it gets into the Plain States. And then we're looking at some more problems out of that. So again, could be seeing some more 
uh, difficulties there, but we'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Melody Maxwell Mann, 49 degrees in Lexington. Thank you very much for that weather report. Coffee on the patio in South Haven, very good idea. Rob Smith, thank you uh, very much for that. South Haven, Rachel Mendoza Button, welcome to the show as well, and welcome to everybody else who's checking in for this morning. Temperatures across the Mid-South, again, drop your weather reports into the comments section. Check that thermometer outside the kitchen window and let us know what the temperature is in your location, upper 40s to lower 50s. Numbers, again, a little cooler than what we've seen for a couple of days because of that northeasterly breeze. And some of those winds out there kicking up to about 10 miles per hour. So a jacket, again, to kind of ward off that chill would not be such a bad idea. Cross County High School picking up those breezy winds. So temperatures feel almost in the lower 40s, just a bit of a wind chill, but not by too much into the area. No frost across the Mid-South, according to some of the temperatures that we saw up there for this morning. All right, running the numbers into the rest of the day. Temperatures, again, should be doing very nicely, but well below normal. It's down to around, say, Tupelo, Corinth, Oxford, Clarksdale, Helena, West Helena. In that area, you may see a 70-degree reading or two. The rule is is going to be the 60s. The exception is going to be a 70 degree reading out there at best. Temperatures will knock off very quickly after sunset. So by News Channel 3 at 10, we'll be looking at numbers back in the lower to mid 50s. And by the time Todd Demers is on with daybreak tomorrow morning, temperatures will be back in the lower to mid 40s across a good section of the Mid-South. So if you have any plans for getting the kids out to the bus stop, taking that early morning jog or stroll, Decently brisk, once again, maybe not frosty, but it's going to be cool out there. And then temperatures by tomorrow afternoon, picking the kids up from school. The winds switch out of the southeast, and that's going to bump the numbers up into the mid to upper 70s out there for the time being into tomorrow as well. Stella Spray from Bihalia Clear, thank you very much. Uh, good in Cardwell, Missouri. Haven't been that direction in a while. Angie Stevens, thank you very much. And 58 degrees in Millington, Sutherland, Alicia Prince Sutherland. Thank you very much uh, for tuning in for out there. All right, running the numbers again for the rest of the forecast, mid to upper 60s for today. Again, a little bit below normal. Still a very nice day to get out and enjoy the sunshine. Back to normal tomorrow. Very typical late April for the last day of April on Monday, and plenty of sunshine out there. Mixed with a few clouds, that moisture coming in from off the southeast will be bringing us a few more clouds on Tuesday. Now, toward week's end, we see some more showers and thunderstorms isolated on Wednesday, better possibility Thursday, and then into Friday. Now, it clears up again going into the weekend, so that looks good. Back to the Plain States, just west of the Mid-South area, we're still looking at what could be a fairly large and powerful outbreak of severe weather. Uh, anywhere between, say, Oklahoma and Wisconsin, Minnesota, in that area of the Plain States, not affecting us directly, but as that storm system again makes its way across the country, we may see the possibility of more thunderstorms Thursday into Friday, right about on schedule for the Music Fest, and then clearing out as we go into early Saturday. So for outdoor Cinco de Mayo celebrations, things look very good as we go into the rest of this next weekend, the first weekend of May 2018. A few clouds sticking around, but other than that, there's really just not that much out there. So things are looking very quiet into and around uh, the area for right now. Ms. Keisha, so serious Hubbard, a bipolar season with all this up and down weather. It's been a little bit cooler than normal. National Weather Service actually uh, said that, if I'm not mistaken, this is about the third coolest April on record uh, somewhere in there. Their climate report is available at their website at weather.gov slash MEG if you'd like to see what March and April has looked like. It's been very decently cool out there, but we're getting back to those normals out there, so thank you for that. And good morning to everybody else checking in from across the Mid-South and points beyond from this early Sunday morning. All right, tonight, again, if you had a chance to see it last night. We'll see another one tonight. Network of satellites around the globe, defunct satellites. They're still up in orbit. The Iridium satellites were a communication network, but they are no longer used, but the satellite's still in orbit up there. And as they tumble through their orbit, they sometimes reflect the light from the sun for just a few seconds. They flare, basically, uh, in the terms of what we're going to be watching here for tonight. So the northern horizon, again, just to the left and below the North Star, you're going to be seeing a flare 
at about 9.24 for tonight. It'll be dropping down toward the horizon. It'll be very close to the horizon, so hopefully you have a good, clear view without any trees, buildings, or clouds, or haze in the way. It'll be fairly bright, should be easily seen. It'll fade into view. It'll look just like a star moving. It'll get very bright for a second, and then it'll fade away as it goes into that haze layer near the horizon. So this is what you'll be looking for. Fairly common. Again, they happen every once in a while, maybe one or two per evening and this will be your opportunity to see that. This will be about the brightest thing in the sky for later on tonight, so a good opportunity to see a little bit more out there. But tomorrow morning, the moon and Jupiter will be rising very close together in the eastern sky, so hopefully you have a chance to get up and see that uh, later on tonight and into very early tomorrow morning as well, so some great sky shows out there. And Memphis Astronomical Society will be holding their meeting at Christian Brothers University this Friday if you'd like to catch a little bit more about science and astronomy out there. Thanks to everybody for some great pictures. Uh, unfortunately, Alex Coleman's video should be playing here, but it's not there. Uh, talking about Lanny McMillan, saxophonist at Owen Brennan's. A little bit of local music there, so thank you very much, uh, Mr. Coleman, one of our anchors here at News Channel 3. James R. Gulledge, a nice view of some sunshine in and around northwest Tennessee, close to the Humboldt area. Thank you very much for that one. And didn't see this until this morning, until uh, the computer finally was able to churn this one out. But thanks very much to uh, Miramichi, the golf course area, showing us a very nice sunset from um, about two weeks ago, so nice to be able to finally show this one up there. Thanks to everybody for passing those along, and if you've got pictures, send them along, and we'll feature them on netcast like this, aonic underscore WREG3, aonic no underscore necessary, WREG3 on Instagram, and austinonic WREG on Facebook. And thank you very much to everybody who's been sending in your pictures. Great to have them along to show people what people are seeing around the Mid-South area, so thank you very much uh, for doing all that. Can't catch up with the forecast on your computer or out and about without your smartphone or tablet, dial us up on the radio, Country 92.5 or Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. Todd Demers will have your forecast bright and early tomorrow morning. I'll have an update coming up on my Facebook page, Twitter, and Periscope here in just about 20 minutes. We'll also take a look at weather where the troops are, so stick around for more information on that coming up just past the bottom of the hour. More information tonight on News Channel 3 at 5 and 10. Kristen Holloway has all the day's news. Mike Sadie has another busy day in sports, including a look at the NFL draft going on and more information about how that's affecting local players here and there. And also, again, I'll have your complete forecast as well. That'll be tonight on News Channel 3 at 5 and 10. And of course, if you want to get more on the forecast, all you have to do is go to this website address, wreg.com slash weather. Thanks to everybody for joining us for this morning. Stick around for a lot more throughout the rest of the weekend with News Channel 3 on air and online.